In another video, I have shown how to save air pressure measurements using a WebStow bit. In this video, I will do some similar experiments without using this unit. Air pressure can be measured with a barometer. In the old days, the unit was millimeters of mercury where 760 millimeters corresponds to 1013 millibars. Nowadays, the unit Pascal is used, where 1013 hectopascals corresponds to 1013 millibars. For the measurements, you can use an envirobit to which the microbit can be connected. You can also use a sensor called BMP280. It is available in different versions. The sensing element is produced by Bosch and it contains a small crystal that can convert pressure into electrical values. Two of my sensors look like this. In fact, the six pins had to be soldered so that they would stick up into the air. Instead, I soldered four male-female test leads as shown here. I bent the male connectors so that the wires can lie flat against the table. A third type of sensor has pins that are soldered. And here I can simply connect four female female test leads. If you use a separate sensor, you must mount the microbit in a breakout board so that you can connect the sensor to 3 volts, 0 volts, and to pin 19 and 20. Whether you use a separate sensor or an Envirobit, you must download an extension called Envirobit. Once you have done that, you have access to a number of menu items. We will use Get Pressure. Now we will investigate how air pressure behaves in flowing air. We start with this program, which will display the measured values using the microbit's LEDs. In order for us to see the pressure differences, it is necessary to convert the values by mapping them as shown here. The next step is to see what happens when you suck at the sensor with a vacuum cleaner. First, I will try with a separate sensor. And here I try with an environment. You can, of course, also have the pressure displayed as a number. The program can look like this. But now I want to show a setup which can display all four digits using five microbits. 
The microbit that makes the measurements must be supplied with this program. It uses the radio function to pass the individual digits on to four other microbits. Here you see the program that the microbit to the right must be supplied with. The other three must have the same program, but the number 1 must be changed to 2, 3 and 4 respectively. Now we try again with the vacuum cleaner. A boomerang like this one has a flat side and a curved side. The same applies to an airplane wing. The air that passes above has a longer journey than the air that has to pass below. The longer trip must be reached in the same time. Therefore the air above flows faster than the air below. This creates a negative pressure on the upper side of the wing. So now there will be an upward force on the wing which cancels out the effect of gravity. Now I want to examine the relationship between air pressure and volume. I start by putting the envirobit into a plastic bag, which I close tightly. When I press it, the pressure inside the bag rises. The relationship between pressure and volume is described by boyle mariotte's law. It says that pressure multiplied by the volume will be constant if the temperature is kept at the same level. To prove that we need a syringe with an airtight piston. A sensor is placed inside the syringe and the hole with the wires is sealed with glue. Now I change the volume and note the associated pressure. When the two numbers are multiplied, I get basically the same number for all measurements. We now are going to examine the relationship between pressure and temperature. We use a jam jar which has a constant volume. 
Inside the glass is placed an envirobit with a microbit, which must collect the measurements that are taken. The program looks like this. At the start, an empty array is created, a data set which continuously can be supplied with measurements. Here I make 200 measurements with a pause of 6000 milliseconds. The experiment will therefore take 20 minutes. The idea is that the collected measurements using the radio function must be delivered to another microbit when button B is pressed. The second microbit must have this program and must be paired with a computer or connected to it with a USB cable. The computer must then collect the measurements, draw a graph and hand over the numbers to a spreadsheet. Here the transmitter and receiver are located next to each other. I press button B and wait for the display to show a square to indicate that the transfer is complete. It looks like this on the computer. Unfortunately, the function can be a bit tricky. Sometimes the show data device field does not appear. Here it can help to click on the little plus sign and set the serial write switch to off and on a few times. Finally, the program is saved in the microbit where the switch is on. In my experiment, I put the gem jar on a radiator for 7 to 8 minutes. Then I put it in a freezer for 7 to 8 minutes. Finally, I unscrewed the lid. As you see, the pressure increases at a higher temperature and decreases at a lower temperature. I have previously made a video about the connection between altitude and air pressure you can find the link in the comments below.